just hope my mom was proud of me. <laughs> yeah. But I'm still uh, rapping in my thirties. I'm still uh, hacking, acting nerdy. I'm still uh, trapping, riding dirty. I'm still uh, macking, acting flirty. I'm still rapping in my thirties. I'm still hacking, acting nerdy. I'm still trapping, riding dirty. I'm still macking, acting flirty. Yeah, still. Still, I don't give a fuck if I blow up. Ugh. I just never want to grow up. Ugh. I'm throwing shows, I hope you show up. Ugh. But if you don't, so what? I blamed it on my ADD for sale, made it cool. What up, 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 what up? Saint Warhead here. I am a rapper, I am a streamer, I am a content creator. I am a cannabis professional. I am a lot of things. And today we are going to do a how to video and a review of the Tully app. Or the Tully app. Well, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but I'm also going to stick with the Tully app. <clears throat> actually made a video similar to this a couple of years ago in 2018, uh, which got a lot of good organic reach and a lot of good feedback. There was a lot of complaints about the sound. Hopefully it's better this time. I'm using the same headset, so it probably won't be. Uh, <laughs> but I tried to move it further away from my face. And uh, try to turn down the mic a little bit so there's just not as much popping and other uh, explosives and, and nuisance sounds. So hopefully the sound quality is a little bit better this time around. Uh, but I got a lot of requests to uh, do an updated version of this video. Because the Tully app has seen a lot of changes, uh, its basic functionality is still the same, but it's uh, introduced a few new a few new features, and uh, the UI has got a complete overhaul. I think the logo is different now. Um, so yeah, there's been a lot of changes, so I'm going to do an updated 2020 version of this uh, Tully review and how-to video. I had a couple suggestions in the older video for things they can do to add to the app. Uh, to improve it. Some of those things have been done. Um, a lot of them have not. Like one of the ones I was hoping they'd add is basic vocal filters. I know this isn't a DAW. Um, but yeah, just basic vocal filters would be kind of cool. They did add some multi-tracking functionality, which I'm pretty stoked about. Um, now, I've noticed this creates some latency issues sometimes. I'm hoping we don't have that here. And what I mean by latency issues is sometimes the, uh, when you record the vocal over the beat, it doesn't match up when you play it back. Um, I've ex I had a lot of those complaints in my comments in the old video. I've experienced some of that myself. Uh, something that's helped me is just closing out all the other apps on my iPhone. That's helped with the latency issues. Uh, but there is still a noticeable little bit of delay uh, that can be frustrating. Um, and there is, if you uh, flip this way, there's a support or there's a settings area. Um, and then if you click the eye up here, there's a support area. So definitely if you're having problems, let them know what it is. Um, and they're back. They're frequently asked questions. They uh, That's where I got the advice to close apps. And that on my iPhone, that definitely helps some. But it could potentially just be a hardware problem. Uh, but if you have a new nice phone, um, if you close all your apps, you should be able to get somewhat decent latency. So I just wanted to address that concern. Uh, right off the bat, but uh, yeah, without further ado, let's dig in uh, to this app and do an updated uh, how-to video. I'm going to be doing uh, first. Let's talk about what Tolly is. Tolly is a pre-production uh, mobile app, um, so it's not meant to be a full-fledged production app where you can uh, create finished songs. It's meant to create reference tracks, uh, scratch tracks, uh, rough tracks that you could share with people you're working on songs with or with your producers and engineers. Uh, if you're your own producer and engineer, it's probably not quite as useful, um, but it could still be nice to have you know, a mobile pre-production app to use on the road or to turn out ideas quickly and just get a quick reference or rough uh, version of the song before you take it into the studio to, to really make the the quality final version. 
So that's what Tooly is. I use it a lot uh, for for songwriting. It's been really helpful. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you how to get her done. Let's get this bitch started. Uh, we're gonna recreate that song that I played at the beginning. It's one of my own original songs. It's called Nerd Trap. You can find it on any streaming platform. Just look up Nerd Trap by Saint Warhead and play that shit, please. Um, especially if you enjoy this video or if you thought the song sounded dope. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to do a pre-production version of that final song using the Tully iPhone app. So without further ado, let's dig into it. Uh, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is import a beat. So you see how we have different areas here. We got masters, projects, beats, and mixes. So we want to start with projects. And we're going to create a new project. So we're going to click this little uh, plus icon here next to projects. And this is where we can write lyrics. Um, before you write, you can write lyrics with no beat, but if you have a beat you already want to write to, this little uh, cloud icon down here next to the record icon is where you're going to import uh, your beat. I'm going to pull that up. I already have a beat um, loaded in here. So actually, let's take a step back really quick. Uh, so make sure, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a beat. Um, so if you want that, you're going to go to your beat section. You either click this little Upload arrow here next to the beats title, or you can go all the way up to the top here. Click plus, a little plus in the top right corner uh, to import. And you can import a beat from either your device or from your email. I already have the beat I'm going to use imported, but I just wanted to show you the process to get your beat in um, if you wanted to do it before even starting the project, like I'm about to do. So you got your beat imported. Go back to your project screen. You want to click this little plus next to projects. Bam, and uh, it pulls up some lyrics. You got a beat you want to use, so let's click that little cloud icon on the bottom. I'll scroll down until I find the right beat. This is the beat I want to use. Make sure it's the right one by doing a little play test. It is. Then you're gonna click that little cloud, with the arrow in it next to it, to upload that beat into your project. Bada bang! Now you see you got to play and record down at the bottom. You can test the play button really quick. Make sure that beat's coming up. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You see, you got your little sound control knob you can use right here. Turn that bitch up, make it loud. Still, huh? Rapping in my thirties, I'm still, huh? Hacking, hacking, nerdy, yeah. Okay, so our beat's working. Cool, cool, cool. Now here next to our sound icon, um, we have a repeat icon. That's that repeat button, so that way you can just loop the whole beat over and over again. And the icon next to it, um, click that really quick. So go out. This is the repeat one, highlighted green there. Uh, repeats the beat over and over after it ends. And this one next to it is where you can actually loop a specific part of the beat. So if you're working on writing a verse or a chorus, you can hone in with these sliders on your uh, little sound wave down here and slide it over and loop a specific part of the beat only, uh, which is really handy and helpful. But uh, we're going to turn that off right now. So we got our beat, now we need our lyrics. This is already a finished song, um, so I'm just going to fucking save some time here, copy these lyrics I have saved in a note, paste these lyrics up in here, Another suggestion I made in the older video was adding um, a highlighter function so you can highlight certain parts of the lyrics uh, for ad libs, but um, or just other reasons if you want a, a specific vocal effect on a lyric, because you can send these uh, to your engineer. So it'd be nice to be able to highlight certain areas and add notes for your engineer. Like I want this kind of effect here. This is an ad lib. Blah blah blah. I think that'd be cool. I haven't, as far as I can tell, that feature. Or that functionality isn't in the app yet, but they have added some basic uh, text editing features in the app that you can use. 
if you pull up this little T button right there, you see you got bold, italic, and uh, different text sizes. So you can make a header that says verse big, and then make the actual verse underneath it uh, smaller text, that kind of thing. I ain't gonna do all that because I don't think it's really necessary, but that is a cool feature to to use if you want to uh, use that text editor a little bit, bold some stuff, or ad libs, or um, create headers for like your chorus and verse or whatever. But anyways, so we got our lyrics in here. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I did not mean to back out of that. Luckily, it saves projects automatically. Let's pull that project back up. Um, and let's give it a name. So if you click up here at the very top, you can rename the project. So let's call this Nerd Trap. Okay. So we got the name of our project, we got the lyrics for our project, we got the beat for our project. Now, maybe we want to create a uh, rough mix of the project. Here's how we do just that. It's fucking simple as shit. You see the play button at the bottom? You press the play button, and then you press, uh, la, 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 la. Then you press the red record button right next to it. Like this. Bow. Play. Record. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, yo. But I'm still, uh, rapping in my 30s. I'm still, uh, hacking, hacking nerdy. I'm still, uh, trapping, riding dirty. I'm still, uh, Mackin' actin' flirty, I'm still rapping in my thirties, I'm still hacking actin' nerdy, I'm still trapping riding dirty, I'm still mackin' actin' flirty, yeah still. Uh, I hope my mama proud of me still. Uh, Cause I be on my bullshit still. I don't give a fuck if I blow up, uh. I just never wanna grow up, uh. I'm throwing shows, I hope you show up, uh. But if you don't, so what? Okay, that's good enough right there. So let's stop that. Pause that beat. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to hit the studio button in the bottom right corner. Hit that. And that will take us over to our mixing area. And we can click in. This is where they've added in some multi-tracking. So we can come up here, make sure our beat's turned all the way up. We can play just the beat by itself. We can um, loop. We can mute it. We can loop just a specific part of it if we want. That was a little hard to drag. Uh, my fat ass fingers are having trouble dragging this. Okay. We should. There we go. So you can loop a specific part of it if you want. Uh, you can mute it. You can slide this way. You can delete it. But yes, yeah, so we got our beat there. We want our beat turned all the way up. Go to recording. Get that recording turned all the way up. Remember, this is a real basic, rough reference scratch mix. It's, it's going to sound bad, and it's supposed to. Um, we can play the recording by itself, which we don't really want to do. There's really no point right now. So let's... Um, There we go. Click out of that. So now we want to hear them all together. Make sure we don't have either of the individual tracks highlighted. We've got the volumes both all the way up. And so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna just press play and see how it sounds. Uh, for some reason, the playback's not coming through the desktop, but you can just hear it in the mic. But I'm still uh, rapping in my thirties. I'm still uh, hacking, hacking nerdy. I'm still uh, trapping, riding nerdy. I'm still uh, hacking, hacking flirty. I'm still rapping in my thirties. I'm still hacking, hacking nerdy. I'm still trapping, riding dirty. I'm still hacking, hacking flirty. Yeah, still. Uh, I hope my mama proud of me. Still. Uh, Cause I be on my bullshit still I don't give a fuck if I blow up 
I just never want to be. So yeah, there's definitely a tiny bit of latency issue there. <clears throat> we hopefully won't have a problem with. It could be due to me doing this whole mirror mirroring to my PC. I don't know. Um, so if you have problems with that, I would definitely contact the app director. Or not the director, but the app uh, creator through the support menu and see if they have any suggestions outside of what's in their fact if you can't find the answer there. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically that. You got yourself a little, uh, little rough mix. Um, maybe I want to add some ad libs. So let's go back to create. Hit that create button. Run that beat all the way back to the beginning. And let's try this again. Press play. Record. Still. But I'm still. Still. All right. These ad libs are probably going to be absolute trash. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. Mad latency problems on that ad lib. <laughs> I really hope that is just because I'm doing all this fucking streaming and marrying. Um, but if yeah, if you're having trouble uh, creating ad lib tracks that are on time, the latency is that bad for you. Let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if this is still an issue because I know it was a big issue uh, in my old video. When I made my old video, they didn't even have this multi tracking yet. And so I started getting comments about it. I was so confused, like, what you're talking about with latency. Because then you could literally just play the beat and record it all on one track when I first started, <laughs> when I made that video. So I was just like, huh? Uh, and now I see people are talking about There's definitely a latency issue there that hopefully isn't a problem for everyone. But, uh, yeah, that is what it is. Hopefully you're not experiencing that. But we'll go ahead and move on. So uh, we got our mix here, right? Back to studio. We got our lyrics, we got our beat, and here we have our multi track. We got I'm recording one with our main vocal, I'm recording two with our. Oh, yeah, you can name it. So we can name this ad lib. Save. Name this main vocal. I don't know how to spell vocal. Main vocal save. Rename this bad boy. The beat. So yeah, we got beat ad lib and main vocal track. That um, the main vocals got a tiny bit of latency. The ad lib has a ton of latency. Either that or my timing is off. It could just be that. I could just. I'm like, so you know, rhythm ain't my strong suit. I had to work on it. Um, so yeah, we got our mix pretty much finished now. Um, not really, but for the sake of this tutorial video, it's as finished as it's going to get. And so you see your little three dots up here in the top right corner. I'm going to want to click on that bad boy. And then create mix. Bam. So then we can go back and our beat is in our beat. We have the full Nord Trap project we can edit any time. And now we have a copy of one mix. We can go and play this terrible, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. terrible rough mix that yeah, I yeah, created yeah. for this video. Okay. I'm sorry it's so bad. <laughs> hey, yo. Still. But I'm still. Rapping in my thirties, I'm still. Uh, <laughs> oh shit, that the time is still. I'm still. Uh. So it has this masters um, there area, and as far as I can tell, there is no way to. There's no mastering feature or functionality actually in the app 
Plus, I just can't fucking find it or figure out how to use it. And I've tried, and I've looked at tutorials. As far as I understand, this is just for you to use the import upload button and import the final master when you actually have a final master. I don't really know why you would need that inside the app, but uh, I maybe some people just want to have it in there. I don't know. It's just like a weird organizational OCD thing. I don't know. But, so yeah, so as far as I know, that's all Masters is, is for you to import Final Masters. There is no mastering functionality in the app itself. But, yeah, that basically covers everything. Maybe you want to talk about uh, collaboration. Trapping, riding, dirty, I'm still. Share. So, if we hit that share button, here's how we can do link sharing. Um, and we can create a URL that we can share with our engineer or another artist that we're working on a song with. And, uh, yeah, we can just bounce uh, files back and forth or rough mixes back and forth. So if you have like, someone doing a feature verse, this is a really good way. Um, and you haven't taken the song of the studio yet uh, to do the whole song besides their verse. And you're kind of just working on it with them together. This is a good way to bounce the beat and rough real rough scratch mixes back and forth. Uh, all you gotta do is just share this link back and forth. You can also share with your engineer, and I'm pretty sure you come over here to settings, okay, engineer access, there's a way to, uh, let's just see. No, so maybe that doesn't really have anything in it. I don't know what that engineer access shit is for them. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanna give your engineer access to it, um, I'm pretty sure you can either do that the link I think there's a setting in this link sharing where you can expires after expiration there we go can download file so yeah that way they can not just listen to it and download it um, I'm pretty sure the engineer access is gonna be a way like your engineer has the app themselves too, to bounce it back and forth inside of the app um, but I'm pretty sure this download file um, can isn't just straight mp3 download i think it might actually be a project file that you can import i think i don't know and i'm not going to check so fucking figure it out yourself <laughs> this video is already over 20 minutes long it's a lot longer than the last one last one was planned out better this one i kind of was just like fuck it this morning and decided to wing it hopefully uh people find it helpful though and it answers any questions anyone has about the app or gives you a, a basic overview an idea of how to use the app. So, uh, yeah, yeah. This is my 2020 updated version of my Tully, Tully, Tully app review and how to video. Uh, if you found it helpful, please subscribe. Please stream some of my fucking music because I'm a struggle rapper out here trying to get pop. <laughs> and, uh, if you have any questions or comments, if the sound still sucks, um, Tell me I'm trash in the comments or something. And, uh, yeah, hopefully someone got some value out of this. I'm out, y'all. Let's run that nerd trap back one last time. So you guys can hear that the, <laughs> the final song is a lot better than <laughs> what we just created. And this is Nerd Trap by Saint Warhead. Available on all streaming platforms. Go give your boy a follow on all social media. Yeah, still. I hope my mama proud of me still. Cause I be on my bullshit. I hope you show up, but if you don't, so what? I blamed it on my ADD for the jail, made it <laughs> so. Alright, that's all I got. If you want to hear the rest of the song, go bump that on Spotify or somewhere.
uh yeah hope y'all found this helpful peace the fuck out